We're going to kick things off here on Supply. And it's going to be Hodor against Elysium. Which is going to be Silent, uh, Monada, uh, Jams, H2O Durin, and Rifleman. Uh, against Gizmo, Serpest, J, Yera, Insane, and Outlaw. I'm not sure who Monada is. Um, we'll soon see. As uh, Stuck comes out here, we are watching Raz as the... Uh, the field up on that middle area. They had a CP spawn back. CP spawn back. An engineer spawned back in H2O to build CP. Somehow didn't build the CP in time uh, to respawn back in. He's going to have to push through the door. The plant nearly going down in this lower area. We have seen Elysium be very, very good on the, their attacks on supply. They are going very aggressive. They have managed to pick up loads of frags. Seemingly, there must have been a lot of revives coming in because I've got no idea how the, the Hodor team recovered from that. That was really nice. Double frag dig coming from Jams. Or Jam. Of course. Uh, does get that frag in. Double frag in, in case you didn't see. Hero's going to be able to get that rifle frag in. Pushing towards this lower area again. He's going to just walk over a mine. Decides to kill out. Double defense here in the lower area. Panzer could be a problem for them. As uh, Silent does drop a nade. Jam needs to be careful here. Taking a bit of damage. And they're going to go aggressive. He actually walks over his own team's mine. So he's going to... Give the uh, Elysium team the chance to just push into this lower area. Aggression from Jam. He's going to get shut down. Rifle does come out towards the uh, the planter. And they're going to be able to shut it down. Monada with a triple kill. Maybe uh, Defuse coming in here. Should be okay. There's no Panzer in position from what I can see. So nice recovery from Hodor. It does look like Rifleman. He's not playing Rifle. He's, uh, well, he's I, I guess, he's playing SMG. It's, uh... The, the medic on the middle area. So we are going to have a pause roll out. But reasonable start here from both teams, to be fair. Hodor sort of recovering each time. But the aggression from Elysium. They, you saw so many frags coming in from them in that lower area. Um, they, they need to recover. Um, need to keep their heads high because they got the plant, nearly got the plant down twice. They got the plant down once. Insta defuse came in uh, from that triple frag. But, uh, silent picking that, that defuse up, so I'm not sure what the pause is about. Maybe ping issues. Can't see anything. Can't see anything. Oh, here's a 999 from uh, one of the Hodor players. Maybe it was just a Vidri start, I'm not sure. Signing in this lower area, getting quite a lot of damage off. He's not going to be able to pick up that frag. Yero gets that nade frag in. They have got a very, very strong lineup, this Elysium team. It took a, bit, a couple of weeks to really warm up. I uh, actually did sort of overlook them earlier when I sort of talked about supply and how good teams are on supply and feeling strong on supply. They're very, very much a team that feels strong here. Plant nearly going to come down in this lower area. Yero did try and bounce down to finish off that dynamite, but it's not going to be coming in for. Uh, the Belgian. The, uh, nice push in from, from Outlaw. And he does seem to be very strong on his first stage. A lot of confidence. Uh, Raz is going to go aggressive. He is going to be able to pick up a triple kill. And that's a field up on middle. Just dropping down onto the lower area. Nice triple kill comes out from Raz. He is going to get shut down. But the respawn's going to come in. And this is Elysium knowing that they can just push in. They've got the freedom. Pants is going to come out insane with the big double frag. Plant's going to go down in that lower area as well. Outlaw's going to be able to pick up a frag as well. And this really should be Elysium with their hands on the flag. One more player alive. And it is going to be H2O. He is going to be able to get one frag. He is going to get dropped and give up the suit. And this is going to be a 10 second spawn for the Axis. So they may be able to get to the CP. I'm not sure the Axis are going to be anywhere in anywhere here. Allies are going to be there first. They're going to be able to get a stage for free. Unbelievable. They're going to go for that main plant as well, maybe. Suit going across. Sebhes is going to be able to get that build. They're going to actually go for the east plant. Amazing push from Elysium. That is that is how to roll a defense. And they're going to be able to pick up that CP. 11 and a half minutes on the clock. Really, really nice push. You're going to see what they can do now. They need to get that plant down on main. They did plant east. A bit of aggression. From Hodor. Look at Elysium go though. Jay picks up a double frag and Gera as well in the mix. And you just can't set up a defense against these guys. They're just looking very, very strong. I did sort of say these, this was going to be a team to watch, especially when you add the the strength of Yera on the rifle to this team. 
It's something that they really missed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, basically say this is gonna be the visual team with upgrades. Uh, well, no, that's a, that's unfair, maybe not upgrades, just different players. Um, something they lacked a, a lot was a rifle. They had outlaw pick it up. Even Lamp, when he was rifle, he wasn't a rifle. But he played it very well, but I wouldn't really say he was a rifle. You know, Lamp was still amazing on SMG. Whereas Yera is a rifle. Everyone respects Yera as a rifle. Even when he hadn't played for a long time, ET United Land, he played very well. They have taken their time on this main plant. Plant may be going down just now. Insane on that SMG Engineer. Does manage to get that plant down. Lots of frags coming out again for the Elysium team. And they have got their hands on that CP long ago. RT down on that west... Or east wall, should I say. What? what? I, I was just skipping around the players. How is this even possible? Hodor just collapsing in on themselves. Nice frag comes out from Rifleman. He does manage to take down the Engineer. Double frag for him. No build on back. I'm not sure of the setup of the Hodor defense. It was looking pretty solid from Hodor in the opening minutes. But Elysium just went to that next level. Four frags again, just all at the same time. And they, this is a team that seemed to be able to do this. Elysium, a team that just pick up like four or five frags all at the same time. It's really nice to see. As you do see uh, Raz get taken down. Jay on the spawn kill. He does get that Gibbon as well. Uh, H2O is going to be called into action. Does stick taken down himself. He's on top of the shells. I'm not sure how easy those that's going to be to, for someone to revive. I think the medic just backed out. Not happy with that positioning. We've got the first goal and they've the already got the crate in the back of the truck. Unbelievable. This is going to be like a seven minute time. This is probably uh, Elysium's map choice. Big triple kill coming out from Jay on that Panzer. They're all picking it up. They're all picking up the Panzer. I've seen Insane on it. Seb Hess. Now Jay. Oh my. They're dangerous. This team's dangerous. I'm going to get that, that truck rolling. Three players in position for the Elysium lineup. Those mines could be a problem. So is the truck. Normally you'd see the mines blow at this point and you're going to see... Uh, that's why Outlaw was just worried about going past the, the, the truck because of the mines. Normally they blow. And... Uh, <laughs> what have I just seen? Yero picks up a triple frag, but he, he walks over his own mine as well. And uh, It's going to be around about a seven and a half, eight minute time. I don't think Hodor are going to be able to slow this down by too much. As the Elysium players are going to bounce on through main. Jay is going to continue this escort. Pans is going to come out. I'm not sure who that was from. I think that was uh, Sebes. But he did actually get insta-killed by his, his teammate. And uh, Jay just in position with the truck. Keeps it moving. I might have called this a tank. I'm kind of tired. If I ever call something a tank and it's a truck, guys, you know, hopefully you realise what I'm talking about. The vehicle. As, uh, it's going to roll on home and it's going to be around about a seven and a half minutes time. And considering, I'd say Hodor looked really solid for the first two, two and a half minutes. This is a really nice reply. Here we go. Look at the stats. It's disgusting. 82 frags against the, uh, against 50 and you're the attacking team the 82 frags come out from the attacking team these these guys are so dangerous on the attack so dangerous 12 and a half k damage as well 29 frags to 13 <sighs> can't really say much about it the damage no one really doing much raz had his i, I think it was pretty much raz and silent for those two two and a half minutes you had a nice triple kill come out from Monada, but then after that, it was... Raz had a really nice triple kill in that lower area. But then after that, it was like almost exactly after that triple kill, it was all Elysium for like the next five minutes. You see uh, a lot of stats being a bit skewed. Looking across to the attacking team, Jay went huge. 21 frags, 2.3k damage. He picked up that triple... Triple airstrike, uh, triple airstrike, triple panzer kill as well. I saw a triple panzer and I was just like, oh, it's going to be insane. No, it's going to be Sebes. And it's like, no. It's Jay, someone else. It's nice to see someone else picking up the panzer. He knows what he's doing, obviously. So let's see what Elysium can do on their own defense. Their first stage can be pretty solid. We don't see them too much on the other stages. Just because they are very solid on that first stage. And 
when they do attack uh, the, the phone second, their their first attack is normally just just exactly what you've seen there. Very one sided. The next game for a race will be against Keyboard Warriors, and that will be in the lower bracket round five. And the winner of that game will play the winner of this game in the lower bracket semi-final. So we're getting to the end phase of the, the trick jump anniversary tournament. It's been a long tournament, but it was better than nothing for sure. Like normally this would be quite a, a dull period for ET. I'm going to see some early mines going out in the tunnel areas. I think that's from Sebhes. Crush coming in this upper area. Raz has got a lot of artillery to deal with here. He's taking damage. He's down to 25 health. He is going to be able to get a bit of damage in. Somehow makes it in towards middle. He might be able to make some real problems for the Axis team. At least he's pushed them back. The rest of his team needs to sort of take advantage. Silent had moved into that lower area. Did get taken down. Sebhes with a triple kill. As uh, Elysium, we did see them before where they just all pick up multi-kills. Just all of them. As Jan's going to try and make his way into this lower area, he does get one frag in, nearly gets a second. He was only on like 5 or 10 health, the remaining remaining medic in that lower area. And Jam is like uh, quite a well-known fragger from our study. He did play with um, Trick Jump before the LAN. I think he was it was intended that he was going to go to the LAN. And then he mysteriously disappeared. People shouting LAN dodge. Some people just... It's a big problem. Nice, nice uh, rifle grenade comes out from Yura. There's the lineup for him. You don't want to stand behind that, but here come the frags. Jam and Raz picking up two frags apiece, but they're going to come up against uh, Sebhes in this low area, and Sebhes gets two frags. And that's it. That's Elysium to hold on for that, uh, that, that, uh, that push. And it has to be solid from the uh, Hoda team. I'm going to watch H2O push in now, and unfortunately he is sitting on the mine. Nice double frag again comes out from Jam. Oh, H2O, that was so unfortunate. He sits on one mine, jumps off it, lands on another. It's, just, it's classic, just, that's a classic play. Uh, Gizmo picks up a double kill. We haven't seen too much of Gizmo today. I mean, we have seen uh, a lot of other players stepping up, so... As I've always said, Gizmo is a, not a player you actually want to see perform. Because he's not that front line player. So if he's getting all the kills and all the damage, you know it's a problem. Well, not a problem. You know your team's being put under a lot of pressure. But he also likes to stay alive in this lower area. He rarely ever taps out. And he gets these free kills like this. Look. I think that's uh, Jam on the Panzer. Silent even. Gets shut down. Gizmo finally gets taken down. Lower area is kind of up for grabs for the allied team. And uh, well, they're going to get cleaned out. Insane. Picks up a frag. And Sebhes double kill. Cleans it out. As uh, artillery has gone down as well. H2O dancing in the smoke. It's going to get gibbed. Gets taken down by Yeros K43. And Yeros now going quite aggressive. The outlaw double team kill. Report this guy. As uh, six players are going to stream across the top. They just they need to get their hands on the flag. Have a bit of a, a confidence boost. Because like I said, they did actually play quite well in the opening minutes of their own defence. Nice. Uh, grenade came in there, silent, I think. Oh, Jam picked up a frag and then the insta gib on to another player. Lots of gibs and kills in that lower area. Insane's going to be called upon to get something done. He doesn't actually manage to do much. Maybe just a bit of a distraction. No flag grab's going to come in for Hodor just yet. I, no plant either. Where's the engineer? And I think that's Monado just decided to just stream up the stairs instead of get a plant down. Silent and uh, Rifleman making their way towards the flag. They are going to get shut down. H2O in the mix as well gets taken down by Sebhes. And, and you need to take these opportunities. At least you aren't really going to hot hand to you too often. They had five players in the lower area. They didn't do anything with it. Outlaw, big triple frag comes out. Taking down Jam, Durin, and, and, uh, and Monada. I th I'm not sure who Monada is. Is that, is that Igla? I don't know. So Sebes, we're going to actually pick up Sebes. He's actually pretty decent on this first stage. Quite a consistent fragger. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Cherry. And you, he may not pick up, pick the plaudits up. You know, you're going to have players like Yara, 
Yera and Outlaw getting all the big frag. Actually, I'll stick on Silent just a sec. He's not going to be able to pick up frag there, so. But, um, Seb Hess does get quite a lot of frags. Especially with those mines in position. Well, that is, that is a cheeky mine. That is a cheeky mine. I'm going to watch that one. Ah, uh, he's been caught. He's been caught. Oh! And that's a, that's a tilt mine as well, because you, you're just going to be annoyed at the fact that it's there. I'm going to try and pick him up again. Oh, Seb Hess with a four-man kill. I should have specced him. MP4, he made that five kills. I should have specced that frag. I knew it was happening. I could, I could sense it. I could sense the frag. Picks up a huge five, man. Unbelievable from Seb Hess. It was an MP40 grenade, double landmine, and another MP40 frag. And he picks up another landmine kill. He's on he's on fire at the moment. I'm going to stick with him for a moment. I could sense something was going to happen. I, I, I wanted to watch this landmine. He shouldn't have put that landmine down. He would have had his frag movie moment there. And he's going to continue putting down some, some mines. I'm going to pick up someone else. As it does look like Hodor are going to get held at this first stage, but... I'm almost 100% certain this isn't a Hodor map choice. And if it is, it's a big, big mistake. They have actually picked up the flag, so a bit of a confidence boost there, hopefully. Yes. That's something you can just work off. I've, I've said this so many times. If you just get the flag and then obviously they've lost this, this map, they can just say, look, guys, look, we've got the flag. Just a bit more positive thinking towards what they can say. I don't I don't know how who's the, the big talker in their team, but... If you're negative towards your team, you generally... I, I don't think you get a positive reaction for negativity most of the time. Doesn't mean you can't give people the stick. Doesn't mean it has to be all carrot, I'm just saying. It's always good to try and look at how you can improve, not... Slam people for what they did wrong. Especially in a game scenario. After games, you can go through things that you did wrong. But in a game, just like... This will try and take advantage of this, that and the other. That is a really nice um, supply demonstration from Elysium. Yeah, I picked up loads of frags. It's going to be very one-sided on the stats tables. There's uh, Gizmo in position here. The best of needs. He is uh, getting a bit of damage in on a couple of the players there. Nice, uh, nice headshot there from Rifleman. Does manage to take down Jay, but as I said, this is going to be the first map going towards Elysium. I'll update the scores on the screen. We'll check the stats out as well, and we're going to go to the second map, which I think will be Hodor's map choice. I'm not sure what they like. Might see a bit of Gold Rush. There's the scores. It does look pretty one-sided from what I saw. I'm just going to update the screen. Scores, should I say? As it is now a 2-0 lead for Elysium. And... Uh, that was pretty one-sided, except for the opening two and a half minutes of uh, the Hodor attack. Uh, sorry, defense. Negative. Elysium. It was just all Elysium after that. So Outlaw picked up 38 frags. Jay and Yero picking up 30 apiece. Sebes 29. Insane 29. Gizmo, like I said, he's sort of like the the last line. He still picked up 21 frags though. So uh, on the opposite team, Rifleman had 25 frags, the highest fragger of his team they're gonna go they're gonna go with uh they're gonna go with this with frostbite i'm happy don't see too much frostbite to fight. So there we go hodor on the defense first again well this could be a very quick one if uh elysium were to roll again their attack can be very very overpowering Entrances. Construct the command post. Yeah, in enemy territory, it works slightly different. You choose what you want to do on your own map choice. So you can choose to attack first. And Elysium on their own map choice, you saw how good they were at attacking. They chose to attack first. And you could see why, because they're so strong at attacking. Whereas Hodor on their own map choice want to defend first. So effectively, they'll defend twice in a row. It's not ABBA or anything like that. If it was two stopwatches, it, it may might do that, but... Rifle comes out from the low air window. Nothing sort of gained from Elysium in the first push. They did get a couple of frags. The plant should go down soon. Gizmo's got 
Dynamite in hand. He's going to drop that down. Nade's going to come across any second. He is going to be able to... Oh, oh Manada. He does pick up that kill. Gizmo insta gives, but the, the Dynamite plant did come in. And that's that lower area planted and, and sorted. And the objective has been taken. Someone snuck through. Seb Hess with a major sneaky rises on it. Rises on the case. He's going to try and get away. He shouldn't run. If he... I think he was even weak. He, he, I think he was weak. I'm not sure. He, I, th I think he took a bit of damage from the medic at back, but he could have been taken down. And I think it, he would have been clear there. That was uh, that was unfortunate for Seves. Nice try, though. They have got their hands on the CP in the meantime. That was a nice distraction at the very least. And it's going to be a big push towards this objective. And it's going to be Outlaw to get his hands on the objective. He is going to go towards that courtyard area. Artillery's there. He is going to skip past... He has got Silent above him, who doesn't see him. Just go, Outlaw. What are you, what are you shooting him for? He, he managed to dodge that artillery, taking a, a bit of pistol fire as well. And he has got a teammate ahead of him. Lots of frags coming out for Elysium. One player was alive at the at the, at the transmitter, but Insane got a really nice frag out. And that is going to be a nice jump there. Nice run. But Silent didn't look down. And, and Outlaw, was st I, I would have just been gone. I would have been gone. I wouldn't even looked up. It's like, okay, you don't want to look at me? Gone. See ya. Well, that was quick. Two minutes, 11. So we're guaranteed a quick frostbite, regardless. As uh, we are going to check it out. The frags coming out. Five kills coming out from H2O. Nearly hitting 1k damage. Six frags from, from Monada. Yes. Uh, looking across to Elysium. No one really doing anything spectacular. I mean, six frags was the high frags, but... This is this is this is the mark, in my opinion, of a good team. If you don't get to ten frags and you set a time, that means you've done really well. That reminds me of uh, my playing days. Shark, that we called that in my team a sharky special. He'd finish the game like zero frags, five deaths, and still like have the objective and carry it home. That's a sharky special. So now let's see what. Hodor can do on the attack. They have got a couple of RSW stars. Also got a couple of ETA players. And H2O. Fight. The push is going to come now. They need to get their hands on that CP instantly almost. Panzer comes up. Nothing's going to hit. Splash damage isn't really that big on the Panzer and ET. Nice defense so far from Elysium. Haven't really had to deal with too much. Jam's going to be pretty good at just diving up the ladder. Nice nade comes out from Silent. We're going to be able to clear it out just a little bit. Revives are going to come in as well. Raz is going to push up. He's going to have a couple of players to pick up uh, to, to deal with. But it did look like he wanted to run and jump towards a flag there. But there is no flag. It's like uh, the Matrix. There is no spoon. Jam's going to actually be able to make it through. He's going to go through the courtyard. Taking damage. He is going to get shut down. Outlaw in the back. Wasn't going to let him get past. And at least him are just going to clean up. This is just... This is pretty destructive. Pretty destructive indeed. So Elysium are going to continue just adding frags to the board. J double frag comes out. Nice rifle grenade. Maybe going to clear it out just a little bit. They're not going to have too much time though. I think that's one player coming up the ladder. Monada. He's going to get shut down though. Insane. Nice headshot to finish it off. And Oh, this looks good for Elysium. 40 seconds remain. Jam gets shut down. Nice frag comes out from Insane. Did he pick up another one? I think that was just a headshot. As uh, Monada picks up a team kill. And there's this time running out for the, uh, for the uh, allied team, shall I say. I think maybe one player did sneak through back. Oh, H2O tried. Nice double grenade comes out. 15 seconds remain and there's no way unless someone has the objective now and has a jetpack. I think this is a done and dusted. H2O is going to push up the ladder. It does get quite a bit of damage onto Gizmo. He's going to try and push on through. Oh, just destroyed by Outlaw. He had like five or six shots on him before Outlaw shot back and Outlaw just triple headshot him. That was... That was pretty one-sided. I was liking the beginning. I was like, we've got a game here. Because Hodor had a really nice start. 
on uh, on supply. But that's it. That's the end of the game. A pretty quick one. I kind of expected it. Elysium look still just as strong as they have all tournament. Um, they're going to go on to the next round where they will face the winner of Keyboard Warriors and a race. And I, I'd like to see all of pretty much every game that remains in the tournament. I'd love to see them all because all games should be good. All of the games should be good. Um, just looking at the stats, 11 frags from Monado from that round. Uh, 1,600 damage from, from H2O. But it was a bit more towards... I mean, look, three players with over 1k damage, but five players with over 1k damage on Elysium. But the damage numbers were very similar. So just let everyone put in, put in a bit in. 13 frags coming out from Gizmo. I did say that if he's doing stuff, it's dangerous. But, I mean, it's a problem. But I don't know. Maybe this is just his home map. 